Hi there, this is Professor Juris, and I wanted to make you a quick video and go over bulk film loading. And bulk film loading is basically taking a big spool of 35 millimeter film and putting it on your own cassette so that you would have um, film just like you would buy at the store, like a roll of Kodak Tri-X, but you're simply putting the film onto the cassette yourself. So let's start with the actual bulk film loader because that's very important. Um, I've been doing this for probably 40 years and um, the best bulk film loader that I found is this Lloyd's bulk film loader. And I just checked online and these are still available and they're going for around $50 now for this bulk film loader. So they're a little bit pricey, but they will save you money in the long run. So if you're actually really into photography and you um, shoot 35 millimeter, uh, this is a good way to go to actually um, save money on film. Now the first time you do it, maybe the first time and a half that you do it, um, you're not going to save any money because you have to buy the bulk film loader. Um, you have to buy the cassettes that the film will go on and actually the film. And But after that, after say the first one or two times that you do it, you'll be getting the film for a lot cheaper by doing it this way. Um, what you basically will do is you'll buy a 100 foot roll, and I think they sell some 50 foot rolls too, but um, you'll basically get a 100 foot roll of film. And this, you can see I've been doing this for a long time. This roll was from 1994. Um, and this was Ek Kodak Ektachrome, um, let's say 160, yeah, the 160 tungsten film that I was using back in the day. But this is the kind of can that the, the roll of bulk film will come in. And this will come in a box and you open up the box um, and then take this out. And this can will be taped shut and you open, take the tape off of it. And then inside this can is generally a black plastic bag that the big spool of um, film is in. Now I wasn't going to waste a, a whole 100 foot roll of film to um, to show you how to do this so I just simply took a, a portion of film right here that I will um, you know show you the loading part with but um, I wanted to get back to this Lloyd's film loader. There's a lot of different film loaders out there that are available but um, I would actually try to get this one specifically because this one has can you can make the least amount of mistakes with it and um, I'm a little bit ADD, so if you're not paying attention all the time, um, you know, you, you can actually ruin your roll of film with other bulk loaders. But this one here is, is a, has a safety feature where it doesn't have a trap door that opens and closes. Now, if you just Google bulk film loaders online like I did this morning, um, I wanted to see which ones are still available. Some of the ones are still available that um, have something that's called the trap door. And what that means is when you get ready to wind the film you have to open up this trap door and that leaves the film exposed to light so if you forget to close the trap door after you wound one roll of film what you're actually going to do is you're going to ruin that whole bulk load of film by letting light in there when you open up the the little door to um, take the film cassette out but with this one um, it works basically the same way that a, a film cassette works is it has a piece of felt across there so that um, the, the film is just coming through a piece of felt and that's actually your light door right there. That's your trap door. So you don't have to keep opening and closing a trap door every time that you um, you go to wind film. Now, you know, some people, there's there's always arguments that, you know, people always have their own ways of doing things. And, um, you know, I had students that, that said the other one was better, but, um, you know, until they ruin a 100 foot roll of film, um, you know, they won't see it my way. But this way, I've, I've used these with students all the time, and we never had to replace a roll of film um, when using these with students. So especially if you're a teacher and you're going to um, supply film to your students and stuff and let them learn to roll their own film, um, then this, this is the bulk loader of my choice. So the way that this works is basically these cassettes, there's two different types of cassettes. There's ones that... Um, they actually turn, the, the, that they open by unscrewing, so the cap screws onto the end, and then you take the spool off. And then there's metal ones that are actually just like the Ilford spools. And Ilford spools, if you shoot any Ilford film and you save these, you can actually re reload these too, um, if you open up the spool the correct way. And the correct way to open an Ilford spool is actually you can just bang it down softly on a countertop, and it'll pop this side of the cap off of it. Um, this is just a piece of cardboard I'm working at on here, so I'm not going to really do, tap this one, but, um, you know, I could tap it on, on something and this will pop right off. The only drawback to this particular type of spool is if sometimes, and, and actually even with the Ilford film, sometimes if you drop the film and it just lands the 
the right way it could actually pop this little cap off but you know i don't know what the percentage of the chances of that happening is but that's something that could happen with these with these particular film spools something that could happen is this could come unscrewed if you don't have it screwed good in your um you know screwed down good on on the lid um it could come unscrewed in your camera bag so what i usually did is i also put a little piece of tape across here you could see that th there's remnants of a piece of tape from when I loaded this cassette before. So these are all reloadable. You can use these a lot, you know, many times as long as you don't get them dirty. And it's a good idea also to keep your um, your little canisters here that the film came in when you bought film. If you've been saving a bunch of these, um, they are quite handy so that you can put the film back into here. And what that basically will do is it'll keep the film safe, but it'll also keep this felt from getting dirty. If you bulk load a bunch of these, like, you know, 18 rolls of film, and you just threw these in your camera bag, one of the things is that any kind of dirt or sand gets in there, and it can get into your felt, and it'll actually scratch your film when you're taking the pictures. Um, but it'll, it, it'll ruin, it basically will ruin these cassettes. So you want to keep the cassettes really clean. Um, and then again, I usually put just a little piece of tape there and you can put a piece of tape on these and label what kind of film you have in them now. So if you, you you're not using them for a couple months and you go back to, you know, that you're going to shoot the pic to shoot the film, um, that you'll know what kind of film is in there. So let's actually show you how to bulk load a roll of film here. So in total darkness, now you'll have to start out in total darkness. Um, what I usually do to start with before I turn the lights out is I will actually take the, the handle, the winding handle out of this, and then you're just gonna unscrew this lid right here. And I'll do this when the lights are still on to get started, you know, and set this up on my table. So this is all set up here. I'll set that down like that. And then I would go get my can out of the box there's tape on the can. I might take the tape off before I turn the lights out. And then I'm just gonna set this down. And then I would turn the lights out so that it's in total darkness. And then when the lights are out in total darkness, I will open this can and inside of there, there will be a black plastic bag. And in the black plastic bag, there will be a 100 foot roll of film. So what I wanna do is find in total darkness, I'd wanna find the trap door on the bulk film loader and open it up. And then I'm gonna drop the film into the bulk film loader so that it's going this way. Okay, so that it's, it's and I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm just gonna take this film and bring it over through here. And I need to slide it through the felt right here. And that's basically the way that the film would go on um, in the bulk loader. So it's the emulsion side down when I'm, you know, looking at it like this, the emulsion's curling down. So I would do this in total darkness and then I need to put this back together in total darkness. So you may want to practice it a few times so that you know how to do it. And then once I'm ready to do that, what I'm going to do is I'll take my film right here and I see it's a little bit, um, the edge is a little bit frayed right there. So I'm going to take my pair of scissors um, and I want to trim this so it's nice and straight between uh, two sprocket holes. Get a nice tr straight trim right there. And then what I'm going to do is take one of my cassettes and I will open it up. Okay. And then I'm going to take some masking tape. Um, blue painter's tape works really well too. Um, it'll hold and then also remove off of the film. But uh, I don't ever use scotch tape for this, but I, you know, do use masking tape. And I will, I believe this is draftsman's tape that I have here. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to put the film, put the tape underneath the film right here. So I will take this and put, you know, some tape underneath the film and I want to make sure I, I don't just have a little bit I have you know maybe a half of an inch of film right tape on the film um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to take and I when I put this part in I need to I'm going to be winding through the flat side so the male end of it will go um, go away from where the winding handle goes but then I want to here's the, the important thing is that I want to bring this up here and I want to have this pushed in there a little bit and have some film underneath. See, I have some tape right there. I'm gonna push this over like this and make sure that the film is between the two sides of the sprocket right there. And then I'll bring my piece of tape around. And what that does is see it creates a free floating space between the spool and the film. And now I'm gonna press this down on there really good. And then I might wind it around a little bit. And now I'll go ahead and put my, um, my canister back together here. So I'm gonna you know, slide this in right here. And I need to get, um, and I'm doing this in light, so this part doesn't have to be in the dark because it's a daylight loading um, machine. So 
I'll put that in, and I need to remember to put my little ends back on. I've had students sometimes forget to put my little the ends back on. So once I get the end on, I got the film in here, I'm going to make sure it's all straight, and I'm going to slide this back into here. And then I will close the trap door, and then I get my winding handle. And the nice thing about the load, the Lloyds, um, I need to make get this in until it goes flat. That's important, too. But the nice thing about the Lloyds, though, is there's a, a thing on the side right here that tells you the number of turns for the number of shots. So it says, um, you know, I'm going to do a 10-shot roll. I can do it. If I just wanted to take a few pictures, I could do a 10-shot roll. I could do all the way up to a 36-shot roll. 31 turns will give me a 36-shot roll of film. Now, a 100-foot roll of film will um, give you 18 rolls of 35 millimeters. So you can do the math on that when you start to figure um, the cost of bulk loading and you figure out what the pr actual price per roll is going to be once you have the bulk film loader and have the cassettes and the tape and everything. Um, but you'll get a 18 rolls of 36 out of a 100-foot roll of film. But I'm just going to, for this purpose, um, and I never really made rolls this small, but um, but just for this demonstration, I'm going to do a uh, 10 exposure roll of film. So I'm going to go once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I think it was 13, right? Um, 11, 12, 13. We'll go 13 and a half just because I'm a little superstitious. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this um, winding handle out of there now. Now you need to remember to pull that out because you cannot open the trap door when the winding handle is in there. If you force the trap door open when the winding handle is inserted, you're going to break the little um, light trap mechanism that um, helps keep light out of there. So now I'd go ahead and open this up. And now what I'll do is just pull some of this out. And I'm going to go ahead and trim it off. Just like that. And now what I need to do um, is I'm going to need to put a, a, a tongue on here so that it'll feed into my camera. So again, I make sure that it's nice and flat. And I'm just going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut out a, a tongue that's very similar. And you can even make a, a little um, template if you wanted to, like the Kodak had. But there you go. And that's, um, you know, film that's professionally wound by you. And um, you roll your own and ready to, you know, put the name of the film on there and put that in these, these little um, cassettes right here. And then you could go take pictures. Now, I used to do this um, for a company I worked for called Ohio Color, where we bulk loaded film and sold it under their brand name. It was a photography lab up in Youngstown, Ohio. So, um, and we loaded thousands of rolls of film like this. So, um, and, and sold it to their customers under under their name. So this is a, a great way to save money and um, it will um, you know help you out in the long run, especially um, when 35 millimeter film it gets harder and harder to get. I wish that um, I had put away some bulk loads of bulk rolls of the Kodak infrared film so you, that it's almost impossible to find right now unless you want to spend like a fortune on it. But anyway, if this video helps, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, smash the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell so that um, when I put my next video up, you will be notified. So have a great day. Thank you.